Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. This is Roaring Hamster, and uh, where we last left off, I uh, leveled up my hero, and I was explaining various things, which I will continue as we encounter them. Um, what I wanted to say is that, oh yeah, this. Uh, apparently we have uh, ruins in the ocean now as well. This was not a thing before, but I should keep my eye open for, for this kind of thing. And uh, yeah, this will definitely make the game much more interesting. I mean, Endless Legend at first was not a very complex game. I mean, it was, was pretty complex, but it didn't have so many things. But now with all the expansions, it's I, it feels really complete. It feels really polished. Obviously, some people don't like that kind of stuff because... They don't like having to pay for extra content, you know, which I understand. I perfectly understand. But you know how it is. These uh, gaming companies need to make money, so... Alright. Um, I think we will go for science first before we go for luxuries. You think that's reasonable? We do have plenty of food for now. So we don't need to necessarily get... Uh, which one was it? This one. I don't know. I would like to have a plus 10 science and then plus 10%. Yeah, let's get that. Since we're taking so long to... Oh! So that wasn't... Yeah, I think I... Uh, I was mistaken last time. And this one said uh, it's gonna take 20-something turns? Now it's just the amount of science required. So this is 42 science. It doesn't actually show you here, but it shows you when you click on it. So it's right right here. It's a bit less intuitive than uh, the science screen in Civilization V, but it's fine. I like it. Anyway, I was going to talk about these as well. So these are extra objectives that you can only get... Uh, only the first person that gets it can uh, can have it. So, this one says, be the first to build a legendary building in order to benefit from its unique effects. So, this is kind of a world wonder from Civilization V, I would say. I'm, uh, you're noticing that I'm making a lot of comparisons with Civilization V. That is because I've played a lot. I think I have over 500 hours in Civilization V. I've won a few DT games, so I, I might make a few, a few DT uh, playthroughs. If you... If you have any opinions about that, you can leave it in the comments. I'm not expecting many comments right now because the channel is uh, new, but, you know, you never know. Okay, so this is basically a wonder. What is this? Be the first to gather at least 30 units of one luxury resources at the end of turn in order to gain the reward. Right, right, right. Apparently I again gathered... I'm two out of six. So there's one person that maybe gathers something or maybe it's just random. Be the first to destroy at least 10 armies in order to gain. Wow, this is going to take a while. We're not very warlike. Or maybe we are. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about luxuries yet. Science is more important. Alright. More pearls. We don't know exactly what they do yet, but we kind of know. We know approximately what they do, so... Uh, maybe I should... Uh, actually, I don't think I can speed this up. I think this is only a setting in, uh, in the beginning of the game. I think I chose... Standard speed, so... It's kind of my bad. Okay, our population changed, which means uh, we, can, uh, we can do something more with it. We will still grow in three turns. But now, is it worth it to... Um, to get more stuff, or is it just worth it to get maybe more science? Or maybe more influence? Influence is only one. I don't even know, it's, it's not a very simple solution. So this only saves one turn, right here, because it's mostly done. This saves one turn here. Influence is uh, relatively difficult to get. Uh, thing. We get two now. No, that's total. We don't get two. We get one. 
So plus two per citizen from city hall. So if it's plus two per citizen, we should get two. I think this is not updated. I think this is going to be two on the next turn. So uh, that's absolutely fine. Hmm. What do we do here? I think I'm going to go with science, actually. Yeah, I think that's a good choice right here. So let's put him on science. We can grab both like this, or we can grab one like this. A bit more science, you know. Yes, search this again. Eventually you can turn these into some sort of museums or something, you know? Alright. So we got uh, Skyfin unit and three pearls. And now I need to build uh, the altar of Auriga. I will need to gather enough pearls by searching ruins or by collecting them when the dark season brings. Oh. Alright, I need to build the altar of Auriga. Ah, there it is. Garth of the Alley. Uh, how how are they called? They said they said it in the cutscene, but I don't remember. I'm just gonna call them Alai until then. I mean, this gives influence. This gives uh, food. This gives. Uh, Approval and apparently 60 was not happy, but 65 is Which means we get 15% more food and production and more security Security is uh, the spice I'm guessing Yeah So after we get the founders memorial definitely get the altar of origa We need 10 pearls for it, but we can get 10 pearls. So that's not a problem. Uh huh. Interesting, interesting. I'll put it here. There we go. So we get to choose where we put it. So we got our Skyfin. We'll add it to our army here. I mean, if it can move. I don't know why it's not working. And yeah, it's a bit weird. Strange. Maybe because these guys don't have any more movement? That might be. Let's uh let's wait. One turn and see. Let's find out. Alright. How about now? So, two out of four units, and this is one out of one. Why aren't you able to, uh, to just merge? Really, really strange. I don't know how this works, honestly. <clears throat> so I will need to find resource nodes in order to see what we can do. I guess we can just use it as an exploration unit, right? Yeah, look at all the stuff we can see already. And then get to this village. It's actually faster through there. Interesting. Alright. I want to head in this direction. I want to get these two. Exploring ruins is the easiest way to get XP on your hero. Uh, oh, right, I can't talk to them. You need a... Res uh, I was gonna say res research. You need a research. You need a technology to do that. Language, there we go. So this will happen at some point. One day. But not now. Uh, does this mean population 3? 
We'll find out. Let's get language. Yes, search the ruins. We've encountered the Erises. Erises. Erichis, I don't know. Nothing of interest, but I did get the XP. Yeah, I don't know why I can't combine the units. It's strange. It's it's very strange. So these are the Erichis. And these are the Ursis. They're basically ogres. So there are two Ericis here. That's interesting. So is this a uh, three population? Yeah. So this will make a uh, language square six turns. Yeah, I prefer to have them for four turns. A little bit of a mix between production and science at the beginning, since we have plenty of food. I'm glad I don't need to put anyone on food yet. So we completed this, and the next one is this. It's fine. I can just tell these to not pop up. It's fine. I don't mind if it pops up. I like having reminders in games like this. Alright. We got pearls in glass steel. Interesting. <clears throat> Where do we go? Oh, look. The haunts. So haunts are very good for uh, science. And then hernas. Right, the hernas are basically orcs. Alright. I like the fact that these guys are flying, so we can explore a lot of crap with them. So did we really not get any uh, resource nodes? It's a bit strange. Emerald deposit, yeah. That's a luxury resource, but no strategic resources? Yeah, that's a glass steel. And that's... Another emerald, but that's not in our territory. So this is uh, the territory, basically. You can see right here. I guess we might have gotten a bit screwed on the <laughs> resources here. It's not really an issue. There will be other luxury resources and strategic resources for later on. Maybe we'll have those. Alright, where are these? The boss, right, so the centaur people. So this area has three Erisi's villages. It's really nice. It's really nice. If you assimilate them, they each send one population to your city. Well, if you pacify them, actually. And if you assimilate them, then uh, you get their bonuses as well. Uh-huh, so these are the cultists. They would probably try to get the Ereses for themselves. We'll probably be at war with them for a long time. So Cold War is your basis, your normal kind of stuff, where you start uh, your relations with, a, with another faction. Which is a bit weird, you started Cold War, but it is what it is. I mean, I'll, I'll take their pearls and their dust, why not? I prefer to search them with heroes, but... Search this. Um, and then you can go to full out war. I think it costs uh, influence to declare war, of course, but... Shouldn't be an issue. 
the haunts, huh? So the haunts live in actual villages. Interesting. In actual, well, they look more like towns. Alright. <clears throat> that's it, that's it. I can explore their territory without problems. They can close their borders to me and uh, if I don't respect that then it's it's a war declaration. But I think it causes them influence to close their borders, so I think this faction overall is just all about influence. They just produce tons of influence and they use tons of influence. Do I wanna I think I wanna pacify the RECs here and uh try to maybe I don't know colonize this region? It doesn't seem to be a very fertile region. That's eh, fine. It has production. Yeah, I think it's fine. Alright, so language square is complete. Now let's do the dye extraction and stuff. So it's dye extraction. What else? So it's dye extractor, emerald, gold, spice, and wine. Alright. Spice and wine, everything you need in life. Let's see, we can bribe them or we can parlay. Obviously, all of these give XP. Locate the right boss village which has a marker on it and destroy it. Huh, really? And which one has a marker on it? Pray tell. I mean, I don't care where the quest originated. Wait. Put this here. Actually, I don't need to. Just pin this one. Hmm. Maybe this one? We'll find out. I, I didn't see any boss village with a uh, marker on it. Boss. I guess it's boss, not boss. It's a uh, different species. How do I get the wordplay? Uh, boss means uh, ox in Latin. And they are kind of ox people, I suppose. I've encountered a new minor faction, which I don't know why it didn't let me inspect that, but it's fine. All right, plus one vision on army. I I need to get this for this. So yeah, no problem. There we go. Definitely don't mind extra vision. Sir, this one as well. More dust, more pearls. We are rich guys. So I would like to do that quest, I really would, but I don't know which village that is. It says locate the the village with, which has a thing on it. I mean, I can see where the quest originated. Can I? It doesn't that that doesn't even work? Yeah. I would have figured they fixed some of these bugs. I know I've had issues like this before. Maybe they're not bugs, you know. Maybe they're actually just. Maybe I just suck. <laughs> it's very very possible. Well, let's parley with these just in case. Using a centaur unit. Visit the three indicated minor faction villages, in less than twenty turns. How would I use a centaur unit? Oh, they gave me a centaur unit. Well, maybe I will ally with these guys. So, 
So we have three villages here that we need to... Does it need to be in order? No, it does not. I think we can do this. I think we can do it. Yeah, that takes us a few turns, then a few turns for this, then a few turns... Yeah, I think we can do it. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, I should really use my scout as well. Kind of forgot about it here. I mean, I'm not gonna reach these with my hero, so might as well get them. That was nothing. heck is this? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but... I don't know if I want to find out either. Let's see. So one more turn, I think I will put someone on this. Alright, let's go to our army and continue the movement towards those villages. I wonder which boss village that was. Maybe it's still down there. But I don't think I want to destroy it anymore. I think I might just pay those guys off. And the other army. Yep. Yep, get all the things. Steal it from the enemy, you know how it is. I wanna declare war. I wanna meet them. There we go. Interesting. And we found the Geldirus or Geldirus. Probably Geldirus because ice stuff. Uh huh. So we can compliment them, we can warn them. They look pretty shady, but who knows? They might be nice guys. Right, so this is um, peace. This is Cold War, which is the default. This is actual war. And this is an alliance. Alright. Uh, the effect ended of the booster, but I can't uh, replenish because I don't have any more. It's fine. Oh, but I did, that means we didn't grow. That's also fine. We'll grow on the next turn. Alright, what's this? Yeah, population is four. And I got attacked, huh? Yeah. That is way too much stuff. I am in their territory, so that means they can attack me without uh, actually declaring war. So I just keep exploring. They will regenerate slowly. Okay, in six turns, huh? So, Empire Plan is another thing in this game. Uh, we can simulate and you'll see how it works. So, you drag these things here and you get bonuses. So if I spent 20 influence, I could get this. If I spent 20 more influence, I could get this. And so on and so forth. Obviously, the next one doesn't cost 40, it costs... Um, it's not linear, let's just say. It's definitely not linear. So yeah, I mean, I might spend it on uh, on some science or something. Um, I will try to get... Uh, I, I don't think I can get 40 influence by then though. But it would be nice to unlock two of those instead of only one. We'll see. Till then, let's meet these guys for the quest. With our slow moths. Did that trigger it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Huh. 
I think I want like this. Because then I want to go here. Alright, so... Well, we're not there yet. Almost. Uh, I don't really know many hotkeys in this game and such, but I'll try to start using them at some point. Just give me a second. I am curious, though. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way to increase the speed of the game. Yeah, this is the actual speed of the game. I don't want to change that. So I don't think you can actually change army speed. I might be wrong, obviously. But I don't think I am. I think I've... Uh, searched for this before. To no avail. Get more resources. It's a bit of a waste, I know. What the heck are these guys doing here? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure these guys are actually yeah, preachers, but they're uh, they're fighters, so I don't necessarily want to fight them. All right, we got an uh, open pit, mind empty pit, no, not empty pit, open pit. Uh, what else do we want now? That's a vessel, we're not interested in that for now. I think I want to unlock the hero section of the marketplace. That's pretty nice. Yeah, mercenaries and such, pretty useful. Okay, parley with these guys. And lastly, these guys. Which will bring our quest to an end. I do think we still have to go back, but no biggie. Okay, so these preachers are just staying here. That's a bit weird. Alright, we got titanium. Go us. What are these? Oh, uh, Hernas. Orcs. I just call them orcs. You know. I'm a racist. Can't be helped. Alright. So we got the altar of Origa. Which is very pretty. Mm-hmm. No, it's definitely pretty. So we got the 15 glass steel. And now, reach a fervent level of approval across the empire. That will be more difficult if I build more cities. Hmm. What if I do something like that? Well, I don't need to do that. Let's say... Plus 8. Yeah, plus 8 is enough. That in 2 turns I will get 40. Well, in this case, so... Uh, 41. And what do we build here? Public ri library. Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the best option, I mean. Search more stuff, get more resources. Awesome. Get them before the enemy does, you know how it is. Uh, this thing is already destroyed, huh? We have a warmonger here. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, let's talk to the last guys. Okay. So, I did get the grass silk. And uh, I will get 60 dust and pacification. But let's talk to these guys first. Oh, interesting. They're 
because they're part of the quest, they don't want to uh, negotiate. So I have to go here. All right. Ooh, it's raining here. That's pretty, actually. It's only raining in this region. I, I like that. I like those little, uh, those little touches. Make the game more enjoyable. All right. Just a little bit farther. Uh, actually, I want to um, make sure that I populate this region because these people cannot. But I, I definitely, I, I think these guys can. They can make settlers. Well, I'm pretty sure. So I want to build a settler myself. And I, uh, on the next turn, I will obviously dedicate more production to that. Search that, get more stuff. Awesome. Alright. We'll go back to the boss village and then we'll end the turn. The boss. The boss village. Centaurs, huh? And I'm guessing we get to keep these guys. That's it. We have pacified them. Awesome. Yep. So that means we pacified them all in this region. Oh, so it's not this region. It's this. Right, right, right. That's fine. That's actually fine. No problem. Uh, these guys, however, might attack. So we'll go we'll we'll go in their direction. Uh, another AI here. I'm guessing it's that AI that killed all of these guys. I'd like to not lose my sky fin. But I do want to meet these guys. Oh. oh I thought these guys were more peaceful than that. Hmm? I guess I was wrong. Alright. Well, let's do one more thing, so I don't forget. Let's uh, take these and put them into production. And I could spend a ton of money to rush this, but there's no point, honestly. It would be a waste. What if I put this? Eh. <laughs> it's good enough. It's good enough. Alright, well, uh, that's it for this episode. So, uh, as usual, you know, leave me any thoughts in the comments if you feel like it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Roar.